Hi, my name is Julia Jansen. I live in Missouri Valley, Iowa, and I go to Missouri Valley High School. I have done cheer for two years, and Missouri Valley High School actually just won um, the cheer competition this year, so that's very exciting, and I was also a part of um, Iowa Cheer Honor Squad. A fun fact about me is that I slept with socks in my hair last night to get my hair curly, and I was not expecting it to be this big or this many curls, so I thought that that was very cool when I woke up this morning and took the socks out of my hair. I was like, oh, I was so amazed. Um, I feel like I should be an SDSU cheerleader because I am so dedicated to the team, and I make sure that I always put the team first. I also love working hard and working to get new skills, and I love learning new skills like that. You throw a new skill at me and I just want to eat it up because it's something I don't know and it's something I want to learn. I always want to be better and I also love getting the community involved because I feel like they are very important to the program and I feel like making sure that your community is strong makes like your program strong. I did not consider another cheer program as this is where I really wanted to be and this is where I wanted to cheer. Um, community involvement is extremely important to me, like I have said, because if they don't know how to get involved, or if they're not involved at all, then your program wouldn't be as successful. If they weren't involved at all, then I feel as though, um, game day wouldn't have been SDSU versus the Bison, which go Jacks, and I feel like they wouldn't know, like, we wouldn't get very much support at all, and the support is one important thing that you need to have a successful program and successful outcome. So community involvement is very important. You need to involve yourself with the community because if you don't, then they will feel the need to not get involved back. I feel like it's a two-way street. And even if they don't get involved back, at least you gave some other people experiences of us getting involved, and that might have been exciting for them and help them get some memories, whether that's like a camp or just volunteering at anywhere, in my opinion. Um, my college major is on declared engineering. <laughs> um, to represent the cheer uniform outside of practice and outside of any event is to make sure that you are on class on time. You are sending in your homework on time. You are um, keeping up with your grades. I feel like that also goes with dressing appropriately for any occasion, speaking appropriately, having good manners, and being nice to anyone, I guess, which is a part of good manners. <laughs> yeah. Um, to me, a representation of a good leader is to lead by example, because you can talk all you want, but if you're putting in that hard work, then no one's going to want to follow you. If you're doing 100% every day, then everyone else is going to look at you and be like, wow, I need to work, at, work as hard as she does. And then they are going to also give 100% every day. And if everyone gives 100% every day, then you are getting that much better each day and you're going to grow so much. Whereas if you don't give 100% every day, then people are going to think that it's okay to just slack off and not try your best every day. Um, for the scenario, if a teammate was being mean or talking about another teammate in a poor way or a coach in a poor way behind closed doors, I would honestly try to either change the topic to get them to stop talking about them or I would try to talk to them about it because maybe they just are very frustrated and need to vent and they just had to like, that's the first thing they started to take it out on because we've all been there. We've all said stuff that we shouldn't have said before so I feel like Everyone has a reason behind why they're saying that and maybe it's not because of the person It's because they've had a rough day. So I feel like everyone needs that understanding um, My definition of teamwork is putting the team in front of yourself And that's always if you don't put your team in front of yourself If you don't have trust in the team then the team's not gonna have trust in you And it's not gonna mesh as well as what it needs to be meshed as I guess um, because if you don't put trust in the team, then you're pretty much not a part of the team. You're saying that you're almost better than they are, and that's not okay either. Um, some additional things that I would tell the team if I made it is um, my sister actually went to South Dakota State. She just graduated. She played softball. That's why I have a softball shirt. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else I tell the team right now, but I'm sure when I got on there, I'd probably talk one someone's ear off so I don't 
I feel like I need to keep that until then. Um, I do not have any conflicts in May or June, and I am very excited to try out for the South Dakota State cheer team. Go Jackrabbits!